Hello my fellow developers. I am Jacob and this is the last method of the string built in object series. It was not always easy to force myself to do the next video on time, especially because barely anyone watches them. But if you want to make it, you cannot give up, so I didn't and here we are. Today's method is called value of and it will be a nice end to our series. Let's dive right in. Value of method returns the primitive value of a string object. It is basically equivalent to another string method called toString. It does not have any input parameters, so it is automatically among my favorites. Usually, this method is called internally by JavaScript itself and not explicitly in code. But that does not mean we will not test it in our examples. Oh no, quite the contrary. So let's get to it. Let's see example number one. First three cases show that it doesn't really matter how you specify your string. It can be a string object variable or primitive string value or even explicit value that invokes the method. The results are still the same as long as the string value is the same. That is highlighted by the confirmation part of the example below where I compared each combination of the three results. It is always equal in both value and type. The one thing I want to mention is that you cannot invoke the value of method with anything you think of. If you use for example null or undefined, they will throw type error. Keep that in mind. And just so you believe me, here is the example number two. And here it is. The last method of the stringed object finished. The only thing left is to thank you if you kept watching and made it here to the very end of the series. But don't be afraid. This is not the end really. I have my eyes locked on another object worth covering. It's up to you to guess which one it is and for me to surprise you. As always, thank you for your attention and your time spent watching me mumbling in English. I will see you soon with a new series of JavaScript basics.